Weekends at the lake, trips to the ocean, and just playing in the pool on a hot summer day are favourite pastimes for us humans, and we naturally want our canine companions to join in on the fun. If you're thinking about taking your dog swimming, or looking to get a dog that likes to swim, then today's video is for you. We're going to take a deep dive into the Bull Mastiff and find out if they like to swim, so stick around to find out. Welcome back to the Fenrir Bull Mastiff channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Bull Mastiff and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Bull Mastiff. So if you're a lifelong Bull Mastiff lover, you're thinking about getting one, or you've just started your journey with your new Bull Mastiff, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you never miss a future Bull Mastiff video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll find out if you're canine companion wants to join you in the water or would rather watch you from dry land. Before we dig into the breed's tendency to like water, I just want to say that each canine is an individual and may not fit into the majority. Their initial experiences, age and general conformation are all huge factors in an individual's comfort with swimming. Under no circumstances should a dog who's never learned how to swim be tossed into the water to figure it out. Unfortunately, too many dogs drown each year because they've never learned how to swim and fell into the family pool when no one was around. Some breeds pick up swimming easier than others and we're gonna find out how your bull massive will likely feel about swimming. Now, with that out of the way, let's look at the role the bull massive was bred for. Developed about 200 years ago in the mid 1800s, the bull massive is the result of crossing the English Mastiff and the now extinct Old English Bulldog. The original role of the breed was as an assistant to English gamekeepers in protecting large estates from poachers. They primarily did this by running off the poachers or by running down and pinning a too slow poacher until the gamekeepers could catch up. They are a large and powerful breed that still makes an impressive deterrent today but has a mellow enough temperament to do well as part of the family. As you can see, much of their early and modern roles don't involve much water, but they are also a very adaptable breed. You'll likely find that when done in a calm, consistent process, your bull massive will learn to swim with ease and may even excel at it thanks to their large paws. Since they are a large breed, you need to be mindful of their joints throughout their life while still working off their energy, so swimming could be the perfect fit to accomplish both of these at the same time. Which brings me to my next point when it comes to the bull massive's acceptance of swimming, their energy. They are generally a pretty low energy breed, so they might not have the drive to truly swim for very long. This also means that they could be quite happy sitting on the beach while their family is frolicking in the shallows or splashing in the pool. They may run along the edge of the water near you until they feel comfortable getting into the water closer to you, but they typically watch their family from a comfy spot, but they should still learn to swim. Teaching them to swim in a lake or a slow and shallow river can be ideal since they can very gradually walk into deeper water with you and walk back out just as easily when they're overwhelmed by the sensations. Once they're comfortable, swimming or even just walking in the foot of water greatly reduces the stress on their joints whilst also burning off quite a bit of energy at the same time if they're feeling rambunctious. Because they're a guardian breed, they're also a very social breed that bonds closely with their family and want to have eyes on their whole family at all the time. If their family is swimming or in the water, then that's where they are focused. This social bond is deeply rooted in their protection instincts and can be used to bring them into the water. You can use this instinct to encourage them to take their first steps into the water and that can become part of the fun if you make a game out of it. Even just tossing a ball or favourite toy into an inch of water and then two inches and then three will give them a very positive experience. There's a good chance they may only go into the shallows and lay down to enjoy the cool water rather than swim or join the family in deeper water. When introduced to the water in a positive way, your bull massive may find they love swimming since they get to play with the family, but be prepared for them to have very little interest in exerting so much energy for very long. Always be watchful that they take a break on dry land for a bit so they don't exhaust themselves and move at their pace when introducing them to the water. Not all bull massives will love swimming, but they should still learn how, and they'll probably like it as much as their family does. I hope you enjoyed today's video, but if so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated bull massive videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Bull Mastiff Show.